Hey guys, so I just got back from my mailbox and inside I had my May wants a little box and I thought I would sit down and unbox it for you so you guys could see what I got this month. If you guys are subscribed to Wantable, definitely let me know what you guys got this month. Um, I never really watch these unboxings myself because lately you guys know I've been so so busy I haven't been able to really watch much YouTube lately which makes me super sad. But anyway, so I don't know how similar each person's box is every month. I know they do have a wider array of items to choose from rather than like Ipsy which I think is usually like 10 or something like that and you get five products. Anyways, I'm rambling. If you guys aren't familiar, uh, Wantable is $36 a month. You get four to six full-size beauty products inside. A lot of them are more niche brands, but some of them are brands that I have heard of before, mostly because I do subscribe to quite a few subscription services. So a lot of them are in Ipsy and so on and so forth. So let's go on and dig into the box. I will have information about Wantable down below and where you can sign up. I do have an affiliate link down below if you are interested so I will put that there. Um, I really love this service. It's one of my favorites. I love how customizable it is much more than any other service that I've had before and I've been really really happy with them with the exception of one or two I've been like meh. I've been a subscriber for a while though so let's dig in you guys. So inside Ugh, I already popped the tape or whatever. Inside, um, it says, we've missed your pretty face. Cute. And there's always something on the back, some sort of a quote. I don't know if you care. I never really read it. There's a postcard that says you can upload your photo of your box with the hashtag Wantable and uh, one lucky winner a week will win a free box. So that's pretty cool. Ipsy does something very similar to that as well. Then on the top, there is a little sheet um, that lists your products, the full size value, what they're for if you are unsure, and it has a list of things you love, hate, blah 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 blah. Things I love are the color olive, <laughs> warm, complexion products, highlighters, blush, bronzer, I like cool colors, eyeshadow, eyeliner, and lip color. I dislike brows, lash products, nail polish, and tools. I don't dislike those things in real life, but I'm super picky and I would rather pick out those things myself. I already have brow products I love, not really interested in trying new ones, lash products. I have so many I need to open and I don't feel like making my lash drawer even fuller than it already is. You know what I'm saying? So that's the kind of a quiz that you get with the Wantable box. So anyways, let's just dig in to the box itself. It always has like some, what do you call this stuff? Egg something, foam, keeping everything protected. And here is a little peek inside. And the first thing I see is an Eye Teeny Eye Cordial Cream Eyeshadow Tint and Base. I got one of these last month in my box, so I really hope it's not the same color. Wouldn't that be awful? It is not. It is an olive. <laughs> That's so funny. I love olive. And I do. This is actually super pretty. Um, this might not be everybody's cup of tea, but this would be so, so pretty for like um, a base for a green sort of smoky eye on your lid. I love that. That is the color there. And let's see if I can blend it out a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. I love that. And this color is really, really, really pretty on blue eyes. So this is pretty. I like it. More appropriate for fall, like I said before, but who really cares? Next, I have a Glam Natural Concealer. Everything that I've tried from this brand, I've really, really liked. And the only time I've ever seen it was in Wantable. But I did find that they do have a website. Um, I was looking at their cream blushes online ones because they're awesome. Um, so yeah, I will link that down below if I remember. Okay, so this is just a concealer in the color Beige 1. And it looks like this, just like a cream concealer. It's a very thick consistency. Oh my gosh, you know what this reminds me of? 
Yes, this reminds me a lot of the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealers. Am I saying that right? Um, I have the one in Custard, and this color is almost identical. It feels pretty moisturizing like that one, but still provides... I don't know why I did it on my hand. It's the same color as my skin. You're not going to see it, but it does provide a lot of coverage. So, yeah, I like this. I will see if it creases or not. Maybe not an under-eye concealer, but I'm happy with that. I love me some concealer. Seriously. Okay. Next, I have a three custom color specialists cream to powder blush, and this is what their packaging looks like. This brand, if I remember correctly, is one where you can color match any product that you have, if I remember correctly. I don't know if it's one of those things where like you send in like one of your limited edition MAC lipsticks or something and they copy it, the formula and the color and stuff, and send it back to you. Um, I'll link their website down below just in case you're interested, but from what I remember, and if I'm thinking of the right company, this is them. So that is kind of cool, actually. Maybe I'll send in my Lady Gaga lipstick or whatever, the nude one. Oh my gosh, I'm so afraid to use that. I love it so much. Okay, moving on. <laughs> this is the shade Mauve. That's the back sticker. This is what the packaging looks like. And the color is like a... Mauve, uh, or mauve, depends on how you say it. And this is what it looks like, blended out. That is super pretty. Okay, these are kind of reminding me of like fall tones, so curious that it's in my May box, but blended out, that looks really, really nice and soft. This is pretty, and this is totally a color that I'm into. So yes, I love cream blushes. I love cream products on myself. Okay, this one is like falling out of the packaging. Look at this. Ugh. Jesus. Okay, so this packaging is all smashed. I'll try and read what it is. I'm holding it right here. It's a Mirabella lip liner in the color Shy. It looks like a pink something. Okay, that is gorgeous. That's a really super creamy lip liner pencil. And it's in sort of like a nudie pink color. Let me zoom in on these swatches for you guys. Okay, so this is that cream eyeshadow base. This is the blush I have blended out here. This is that Mirabella lip pencil. And for reference, right here I swatched my Milani lip liner pencil in nude. The color statement lip liner that I use all the time. So you guys can see how similar that is if you have that product. I just know I use it all the time, so they are so similar. The Mirabella one is just a little bit lighter in tone and it's got a touch more sort of peachy pink to it. All right guys, so that is it for my May Wantable box. I'm really happy with it this month. I like everything I got, especially that lip pencil. I don't know what it is about nude pink lip pencils. I just can't get enough of them and that one is super, super creamy and soft. So I'm in love with it. If you guys are interested, I will link information about Wantable down below. Like I said before, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like so you don't miss anything. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. So today is my April, March, January, February, March, April. But, but somebody, hmm, who uses these? Damn it. What am I trying to say? Um.